and welcome to Geeked Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorials, I just want to kind of complete its snow mountain that we created inside the world machine. Again, this is not necessary if you're using other applications, you can continue there. This is just to see our final result. So I'm going a little bit faster um, to create and some I already explained before in other tutorials what was done. But overall, um, just to help us kind of visualize what have we um, created? Okay, right here, let me go find my um, snow mountains. And right here, the my snow cover. And we have a height. So we have a two heights, we can use it. And I think second one, it's what we want to use it. Okay, you can see we have a nice layering going right there. Let's click OK. With the camera, bring a little bit above. Okay, and right here, let me go set preview so we can preview in one point what I want to show you. It is right here, you see on the middle. This is when we start adding those effects um, overlay. This is create these bumps normally. If we do without, it will be a little bit more actually going inside erosion. So this is what will create our snow box. So it's kind of like snow almost build up. And also you can see right here by edges, we're going a little bit lower. So it's where snow kind of almost melted by the rocks. A little bit more advanced way to look on this. So let's go ahead. And I'm going just to create, add some very simple, very fast uh, material. So we'll just create this one, world standards, red create new, snow, okay, we'll go zero right here, we'll set primary track, zero on the bumps, okay, we can increase a little bit, and let's go to transparency, actually, um, I want global transparency, we'll go select this way, And we'll just add our snow. Okay, and we have a snow cover. So let's select that one. And remember, we'll need it inverse, so you can see right here. And a couple of things again, um, just for this, I'm going to add filter and just pop up a little bit contrast on this filter. So we have it. Kind of snow. Look a little bit better that way. Let's click OK, click preview. So right here, you can see we have a nice snow parks going. And again, this is very fast to visualize. I don't want to have too much details and Again, I'll just create one very fast for the top environment. And this is not to the maps, this is just overall. So, kind of add a little bit on top. You can do this way or with the maps. Of course, you'll just go and use it. Okay, let's go right here. with maps we'll just go and can use it there um not deposit but other ones so we we'll go the where so it's what i want to use actually so we have it where and we have a deposit so this one is what i want to use it actually it's that one let me see if snow cover Okay, inverse in this one. Same things I want to use it. Add a little bit on a filter. So we have a higher contrast. Our snow, let's preview. So we have a snow right here, parks. 
if it's a little bit too much of the snow, of course we can a little bit the rework on that. Okay, we had under primary coin ball for them. But overall what I want to go look it is right here this snow parks a little bit closer. So you can see how the nicer created a bit enhanced more park look like. And let me do one more thing. Let's go back here. Transparency. And the problem is with this, you kind of almost never want to stop tweaking. So it's kind of add more and more to this. Okay, of course, we can add other effects to this as well. Okay, but overall, stop. atmosphere editor. Let's bring a little bit colder look for this. Okay, we'll go on the sun and edit with frosty look kind of. Okay, so right here is our final render. And I'm we'll pause tutorial, come back when the render is completed. Okay, it's done and you can preview right here. We have a nice snow parks, kind of elevating almost like snow was blowing on this areas. So thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember visit on the web is www.geekatplay.com.